those dumb polls that you used to take on Facebook that were like, take this quiz and find out whatever Disney princess you are? Well, maybe not, because Facebook got taken over by older people like Miss Pankowski. Well, the environmental club has an even dumber question to ask. If you were a tree, what type of tree would you be? So we went out and asked WV's finest science students this very question. I'm Dylan, and I'm a spruce tree. You know why? Because a lot of Christmas trees are spruce trees, and Christmas is awesome. I'm Hannah, and I'm a white birch tree. Most trees just have dumb gray or brown bark, but not the white birch. They're unique, colorful, and can make a sweet house in Minecraft. I'm Brady. If I was a tree, I would definitely be a white oak tree. White oaks are tall, powerful, and dominant in their environment. We ain't talking about some punk balsa tree here. Oh man, I got so excited when I heard this question that I just ran out of the boring chemistry lesson that I was giving, and I came out back here in the woods behind the tennis courts so that I could show you guys one of my favorite trees, this little guy right here, which is the sassafras tree. But then I remembered that, A, it's April, there's not really a lot of leaves on the trees right now, and unfortunately I can't show you a lot. However, fortunately, I am wearing my awesome cargo pants, which as everybody knows are both stylish and useful for holding a variety of objects. So, hey, hey, look what I have. It's my guide to Eastern trees. So with this, I can at least show you guys a picture of the sassafras tree. Let's see, right there. So see that leaf shape right there? Well, what you're actually looking at is three leaf shapes. That's what's amazing about the sassafras trees. There's three different leaves on the same tree. There's kind of this mitten shape, a football shaped leaf, and then a three fingered shape. Three leaf shapes, one tree. That's the sassafras, baby. I were a tree, I'd be a cherry tree because all of the varieties of the cherry tree produce fruit. And who doesn't love fruit? Also, look at them. I'm Billy and I'd be a hickory tree. They're strong and beautiful colored in the fall and are beneficial to their surroundings. Also, ever had hickory smoked bacon? It rules. I'm Isabel, and I'm a graceful willow tree. Like Bruce Lee said, the stiffest trees crack, but the willows survive by bending with the wind. Yield and overcome. That's some deep stuff. Unlike Mr. Cray, who's probably listening to some stupid band like Disturbed right now. Now, there is one more person that we were gonna ask this question to, but on second thought, we didn't really need to because the answer is pretty much obvious. One might even say that asking this question to this person would have been rhetorical. And that person is, of course, Mr. Rosso. Now, what tree would Mr. Rosso be? I think the answer is pretty obvious. He'd be a bonsai tree. You guys know the bonsai tree, right? It's those cute little trees that people keep in pots and you know they don't usually get above a foot tall, maybe a little more than that, but not much. Yeah, I mean, Mr. Rosso is basically the personification of a bonsai tree.